Hey, what's going, y'all? It is yours truly once again. One thing on my mind about the way I see this uh, Sigma evolution taking place is um, it is representing the tide of society as far as a lot of people walking away from it. Of course, there's the one branch of guys that represent MGTOW, and then you have these other branch of guys which is representing Sigma. So, uh, the guys that are obviously Sigma are those who are more or less, uh, they're still in and out of societies, but they're just not a part of it either. But, you know, but, but nevertheless, they were once part of the hierarchy. In a nutshell, that's what Sigma is. Um, but in essence, it still is, uh, if you look at it from just the hierarchical standpoint, we got to start with where the top of the hierarchy usually is, and that's the alpha. And so alpha, you know, that's, that's leader. Okay. And beta, that's follower. And then you have the rest that they have seemed to make titles of the beta, the gammas, the omegas, and maybe the deltas per se. But usually all those folks, um, even some betas who probably didn't want to follow the alpha, the leader no more. You put all them together and you can see that these guys may say, well, screw the leader, screw the alpha. Let's walk away. Let's do our thing. Let's be Sigma. There you go. But uh, the thing about those who are MGTOW, they follow the mindset of a Zeta. They're just away from society permanently. Whereas someone that has this mindset of Sigma are still in and out of society, but they're just not necessarily a part of the hierarchy. But where I'm going at with this is, uh, you know, the way I see Sigma is, I see it like it's, uh, if you look at a flow of water coming out of a hydro electric dam you can see that water can take on many different forms and different phases you know water is a powerful source but what if you can channel that water to generate more power you know and that's what the hydroelectric dam is so think of this society in the hierarchy as that uh, that uh, that hydroelectric dam and more or less you can see someone that's like uh, you can see someone that's more or less like on the alpha leadership front as more of like uh, not only part of that hydroelectric dam but also part of uh the way that dam has to flow but i guess that uh that that and that comes with the channeling that dam has been uh designed or specific uh, specificated to be so uh yeah look at the specifications of the dam that's like the alpha and look at the hydroelectric dam itself as the hierarchy you know so yes the the alpha plays an integral role with the hierarchy and so, of course, you see that dam controls the tide and the flow of that water to generate this power, this, this benefit. Of course, who gets most of the benefit? The alpha, you know, at least that's how it's supposed to be. But also uh, these betas that conform to society, too, you know. The alpha wants to stay on top of the hierarchy in society, and the beta will conform to the ways of the society just so they can still, you know, have a means of existence and doing what they have to do. You know, these type of people are 
like to stick with the rules, you know, and don't like to flip the script too much per se. But uh, you got the the Zeta type of people, like the MGTOW type of people who just went their own way. They just walked away from the damn altogether. They don't want nothing to do with that damn damn, that goddamn damn G O T, not G O D. Then of course you got Sigmas who are basically within the damn structure, within the hierarchy of society, even though they're not a part of it. So basically they're the type to go against the tide, against the flow, go against it, go in the opposite direction, swim upstream like a salmon. That's the mindset of a Sigma. And, um, and this has come as of late, really. Um, at first I didn't really understand and I kind of was like, you know, you got a bunch of guys out here who are trying to be something they're not. And I still think a lot of them are, you know, but I can see why one would want to become a Sigma just because the way of society and uh, you feel like there's something that needs to be said about it. So you go against the tide. You have to speak on some things. You have to stand up against bad leadership, stand up against the society in certain ways. Not that you're really a part of it, but you don't want it to infringe on certain essences of your existence. Okay. So that represents kind of some of the mindset of a Sigma to where, you know, the whole idea of even Stoicism reply, applies to a lot of those type of people. Uh, because a lot of things that are going on in society doesn't really matter to an individual that's Stoic. You just don't really think about it too much. It just it doesn't affect you in that way. You just really don't have this attitude that you really care. Or as the great George Carlin said, you have to have that I don't give a sh attitude. So, and I think if there was anybody that could represent what a Sigma male could be or is in this society or could become, basically, that's what I really meant to say, become. Uh, <clears throat> it's George Carlin. He really, he really, uh, he really understood this idea of uh, not really giving a sh, you know. And that really helped him in a lot of his comedy and a lot of his philosophies and all of that stuff. So, and he was all about going against the uh, tide and against the wave and against the flow or against the channeling of this hydroelectric dam we call this society or this hierarchy. You know, go against it. And uh, so, what I'm getting at with this is that when you go against the flow, you got to be careful because, you know, uh, more than likely you'll just end up a rebel without a cause. And so that's what I see with most people that are now deciding they want to become Sigma. They're all going to end up rebels without a cause. Now, you may have someone that's Sigma that may say, well, that's perfectly fine. That's my business. I don't have to have a cause for this society. Well, the only problem with that is that usually a rebel without a cause just ends up an outlaw. So you end up more of a havoc against a lot of people, whether you are really within this society or not. You know, just the fact that you're in somebody else's way of trying to progress and do things better. You know, nothing like dealing with the outlaw, though you're trying to move out west. <laughs> no pun intended would I say that if you know your history. Uh -huh. But, uh, so I think about that aspect, you know, becoming a rebel with no cause. And that's one of the problems that I have with, and I do that. Uh, yeah, something tells me that I'm more than just this thing called Sigma. So given that I've been an enigma, not a Sigma, but an enigma, not putting a title on, not putting a title on myself, but truly I've been an enigma. Um, here's me. I'm not away from the dam I'm not going against the flow that's in the dam I'm not controlling the flow of the dam I don't represent the dam um, for me I'm more or less I'm the water that's in the dam I'm the water I'm the natural source so what happens usually with this water in this dam 
over time, right? The water still finds a way to seep through the cracks of the dam because you cannot fully control the water that's in this dam and you won't be able to fully harness all of its full power because you know what that power is natural it is not man-made so somehow this water will find a way to seep through these cracks in the dam it's going to cause that dam to uh have some corrosion so um in essence the water itself will eventually destroy the dam without needing to go against the flow or anything because at the end of the day when it's all said and done it's all about the water one way or another and how many times we've seen on videos how many times we've seen in movies in the news many times where water itself can destroy the dam over a period of time just by being water and that's yours truly I am water. I know over time, my truth will stand the test of time. I didn't need to go against society. I didn't need to go against the grain. I didn't need to walk away from it either. And I didn't need to control or regulate it to try to generate my own sense of wealth and greatness from the society. I am the flow. I am the water. I can't be fully regulated. I will find a way to seep through these cracks and holes. I have. As an enigma, you do. So, hopefully one can remember me in the same way you remember the great one, Mr. George Carlin, from his standpoint of going against the grain and against the tide in society, because he was truly a rebel with a cause. And so he has my respect versus someone that is a rebel without a cause, just someone that, uh, uh, you know, wants to take on this idea of Sigma, but you have no purpose for it. You know, remember someone like me being just who I am. Just becoming like water, just 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 understanding uh, when I say becoming like water, I mean, just getting back into your truest essence. But there's only a few people that can really flow like I do, be like I am. There's only a few that were born the way that I'm born. But just thought I round up everything in regards to this idea that, you know, with the Sigma, it represents rebel and the Alpha represents leader. You know, just as those two, uh, those two main points, but then just kind of, uh, just kind of branching off from there little by little. Especially uh, since I want a lot of y'all to see that I've been something else all this time, you know, and my direction and the way I'm going in life is a totally different direction than I even realized. But I've always known all along, subconsciously. Signing out.